Hi guys, Gaby Bear here. Right, uh, gonna get in and, well, putting the Yergnizer now, and I'm thinking, is it about time to have a new ship? Well, there's one on sale at the uh, at the moment, so let's have a look. We've got the uh, the Guanghe, which is uh, potentially on sale, so let's have a look. Premium shop, let's see what we've got. Now, where is it? Special offers, okay. Guanghe. Now, recently got the, uh, the kid. What is this like? Now, supposedly, uh, it needs to, to have a better... Basically, it was not very good. And uh, a lot of people were saying that, that it was not very good in testing. And this is the final... That was before it came out. And now it's on special. And is it still as bad? And we needed to have a... Um, a reload time on the guns better than about seven and a half seconds i really don't want to get this but i'm going to get one of these versions so let's have a look at uh, see what we get to so 10 10 point uh, captain working through main, main armament aiming system damage control that's nice okay damage control uh, modification the tier six M system damage control modification, so they're saying it really needs the damage control. So uh, yeah, that was a lot of the feedback that I was seeing about it. So I'm going to get sort out one of these. So bear with me. Okay, I've um, I've tried to uh, to find out the parameters, but th the page is not available. So um, yeah, details actually on this ship, they don't want you to know the details before you buy the ship. Therefore. I'm going to have to get this to be able to let you know what the current parameters are. So I was, I was hoping to get get those first to make a decision. Okay, so I'm going to get the uh, the Admiral's Edition, a bit more expensive, but you get five thousand doubloons, which is nice. The main armaments uh, one, arming aiming system modification, damage control, steering gears two, and then a, quite a number of uh, flags, damage control, smoke generators useful so let's see what i can do with this okay we've got it so let's get out of this and have a look at the ship which should have just arrived there we go the huangi so we we'll go down and have a look at tier six let's have a look at premiums huangi so there, there it is so we've got the anshan and let's have a look at the uh, let's see how it compares to the uh, the Anshan. so this is a cruiser a bit like the uh, the british so we'll see what we can do so comp compared to the uh, the Anshan, the Anshan you can see is so much smaller it's, it is the destroyer so the uh, guanghi huanghi so let's sort out the uh, the captain see exactly what we're going to need with this so first let's find out what the modules are on this so we're running we've got the option of smoke which is really nice so we get smoke generator hydroacoustic or torpedo reload booster so we need to be able to find where um, as we're using smoke we want to go for the yeah the hydroacoustic search and the uh, repair party damage control yeah let's switch those up get that sorted so we've got a an increase in those so we, we've got the smoke which is going to be very useful that's we're going to live or die on the smoke which is an improvement above the uh, the beta version or the uh, the the version before this comes out and we've, it is running three guns i was hoping it would so yeah they, they've stuck with the uh, the three guns now the reload time let's have a look main guns reload they've improved it to seven seconds so it was a seven and a half seconds so i believe they've moved it to seven seconds so that's a nice boost to the uh, the damage dealing of this so that's that's leading me to uh, to think it uh, it's that it's good so let's get in and have a look at the uh, the captain let's sort something out about this so so first i'm going to go for is uh, preventive maintenance Minus thirty percent to the risk of incapacitation because we've only got three guns. I don't want them being damaged, so uh, that's the first one. Next, I'm going to go for smoke screen expert plus uh, twenty percent to the radius. So we'll go with that. 
Then, on top of that, I'm going to go for superintendent to increase the amount of smoke we've actually got because we're going to live or die on the smoke. And then with the, the, the last four points. And fourth, I'm going to go for concealment expert, which reduces the chance of uh, detectability. So, I'm going to work on that side of things. So, that's where we are set up, ready to rock and roll. Now, modules. Let's uh, get some upgrades on. So, start off with this this side and I'm gonna say that we need damage control so um, well they they want to give uh, the steering so let's have a look at the maneuverability of this so let's see 6.7 seconds speed 33 knots turning circle 570 so that seems adequate let's start off the bottom see what we've got available so magazine modification let's uh, Risk of explosion, yeah, that would not be a good idea to explode this thing. <laughs> then uh, I want to go for, well, propulsion or steering. Let's go for damage control. It seems like it's something that uh, you you really want to not be taking that damage. So then working our way through, I mean, are they aiming or AA? I'm going to go for uh, the aiming system uh, modifications, which is going to uh, reduce... Basically, make make everything that little bit more accurate. So we'll go for red uh, aiming systems, and we'll uh, we'll test that out. And then finally, so propulsion. Uh, no, let's go for damage control again. Get that sorted. Defend against the uh, the damage. Let's get some flags on. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, Increase the firing range of the secondaries, yes. Then, uh, working our way through, increase chance of fire, yes. Less chance of explosions, yeah, that sounds like a, yeah, a good thing. Looking at the flags I've got available at the moment. Working through. Reload. Increase, yes. Let's increase the speed. Increase the speed of the ship as well, yes. Then working our way through, let's have a look. Can't with no repair party, so um, flooding recovery just in case. But I'm thinking if we get hit by a torpedo, we we sunk anyway. Uh, let's have a look. Low chance of putting fires out. Yes. No chance. hundred percent chance of a detonation. And working through additional credits. Let's go for less chance of flooding just in case so try and make this as bulletproof as possible enabled and then let's go for CBT as I like the red so we'll go with that that's it camouflage let's see what we're running so this we've got a number of camos we can put on but we'll leave this standard one so that's where we are at the moment and ready to rock and roll. So we're looking. So we've increased the the, the range for the secondary guns. It's now 5.5 kilometers. HE 100 mils. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, show you the, uh, the torpedoes. Torpedoes 8 kilometer range, 60 knots. So uh, all right. And uh, with their two two triple tubes. Let's have a look at the AA. So checking that out. Two kilometers, three and a half and five kilometers so we can do a bit of a yeah, an anti-air roll if necessary so without further ado let's get into this uh, first battle see what it's like is it a worthwhile thing but at least we've got smoke to hide in which was something that was pointed out previously that you need with this thing so getting in we'll see what we can do take it take it to them and see if this can give a good uh, account of itself in a cruisery semi destroy it sort of way very similar to the to the british line but you've got a nice combination of uh, of ap and he so we'll see what we can do there's no quite there's one huang on the next other level so we've got the yeah let's have a look against the nuremberg more concealable yeah a better aa torpedoes not as good better guns okay i like the look of that against the normal one we're more maneuverable more concealable okay that's with things in the background so let's have a look at the mission so we're starting off here let's head in but you've got to think this isn't a proper destroyer it's it's really 
I'd say like a cruiser with a smokescreen. So you've got to play it as such. So we'll see what we can do. So we're going to work work our way down, push through this section, spot the uh, the enemy, and uh, and take it to them. So that's the that's the plan at the moment. Go in, find them, kill them, Action but stations. spot for the team. Let's get up to full speed. See what it's like. So yes, it's an interesting little ship. It's quite quite a, it's a big ship. It's it's you saw how it was against a proper destroyer. And this is it's in a semi destroyer role. So I'm going to back up uh, my buddy in the Fabuki. See what we can do. Get in. I want to head more towards the centre. He's going that way, out to the flank. Up to uh, 33, 34 knots very neatly. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice turn of speed. I want to provide uh, cover for the uh, the battleships because there are carriers. So I want to do uh, essentially uh, escort for the, the, those, the pair of battleships who are here. So those guys are just back there, and I want to uh, to be in between them and any any air power that's coming in. So 34.7 knots. Let's see what it's like in the turn. So I'm doing this testing. I'm going to do things to test. You lose a lot of speed in the turn. I'm going to do things that I wouldn't normally do in a game to test the parameters, to test what it can do. So things like get it getting up close see what it's like a brawling see what it's like when get when it gets hit which means i'm going to be putting myself into into positions of danger i'm going to be testing things out that you wouldn't normally see and that wouldn't be the best way of doing yes i've been playing for a long time since beta and uh, since closed beta actually and i do know that i will be making mistakes so don't point you don't need to point it out in the in the comments i do actually know so please yeah well, 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 you can do it, but um, but yeah, uh, it, it'll make a good talking point and help me to uh, demonstrate them. And that's that's part of the reason, because I want to show the good points and the bad points. And uh, let's get ready to get the uh, the guns in. Can't go over there. So let's head in towards him. See what else we can spot. Okay, start to turn. Affirmative. Many thanks. Let's see what the speed is in the flight time. Okay, it's a little bit ahead, so let's adjust like that. That should be there or thereabouts. Time not to be here. Smoke generators. Oh, what? Whoa. Okay, it's still susceptible. Goodness me. I was doing everything right, laying smoke, found them, getting the smoke in position, and wallop. Right, we're going to have to play this again. It's even though it's still liable to damage like that. I've I've heard rumours that its citadels are easy to hit, and um, that just shows it's still like that. We'll see what we can do in the next game. But like I said, I I was testing things out. So I wanted to see what it was like up close, demonstrating, and that was a perfect demonstration. So, uh, yeah, very, it's that sort of thing that I, I like pushing in my reviews to try and show you guys what it's really like and when you're mixing it up in those situations that you shouldn't be. How is it in those situations? When you find yourself cut off, when you find yourself overpowered, how is it? People don't, generally don't show when it's at its worst and what it's like when it's in, in a clinch. And that's what I like showing is what something can or can't do and find those boundaries to see the good and bad points of, of every ship, plane and tank. So, uh, yeah, let's get ready to get into the next one. So, now, demonstrated 
it's very vulnerable to fire. You don't want to be firing up close. You would need to be, if, if you fire, you need to be about to go behind an island. You've got that smoke screen, which is an improvement above the original situation. So that's something that's, that's really good. That's something I wanted to show you and demonstrate because I'd heard that it was very vulnerable. So you don't want to be in those situations. Now, we're going to try and stay out of those situations. Use the smoke, spot work it like a heavy destroyer slightly less nimble but with a little bit better guns for a destroyer and that's where we are so let's get on with this okay so up against the york let's have a look. so well we're tier tier six let's have a look and uh, so against the cleveland in comparison we're much more concealable yet yeah, neat our guns aren't as good. We're not. Uh, our guns are actually better, but and our survivability isn't as good. Torpedoes are better. AA defense not quite so good. So let's uh, get in. So we've got the smoke situation. I'm liking the way this looks. General quarters. So we're going to go in, spot for the team, get red to use the smoke. We got the hydroacoustic red to rock and roll. Let's give them a hard time. And we'll do what, what we can do. So, hi, obliged. buddy. So, yeah, a clown that uh, just invited me in, so uh, 80, 88, just, uh, that's who the clown have just joined. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for inviting me, and, uh, yeah, happy to be in. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. So, first thing first, get in towards B, <clears throat> help to cap B, with our little buddy there in the uh, Mahan. He's little we're not and uh, so yeah using the smoke checking the range so yeah you don't want to fire unless you're uh, because you're, you are very very vulnerable so we've got to destroy it there I'm going to circle around the smoke this way to actually get the torpedoes off there Okay, bit of an anti. I, I'm, I'm dodging. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, detected by the air, and I'm heading to protect the. Uh, Was we'll test out the AA situation. There we go. This is what I'm hoping for. Testing out the AA. Going to help defend the uh, the battleships. He's taking some damage, but we're definitely helping with these these planes. Follow them out. Thank you. Didn't actually take any down, but uh, potentially put uh, put enough on them to uh, to be able to to assist the situation. So let's get some shots over there from behind smoke. Oh, it's turning behind him. See what it's like losing speed. That should lose enough speed. To give us the ability to get behind him, so it's fairly manoeuvrable. I don't want to be here. Really don't want to be here. Let's turn it back the other way. And let's get some uh, side shots so I can try and spot the uh, the enemy team. Set up some smoke ready test these guns okay faster maneuvering than I thought that's it see what we can do guns are nice yep use the smoke get the, get the, get the shots in We hit then, so we're still there at the moment. Let's try and get another shot in. It stops shooting. There we hit him again. Nice. Nice amount of firepower to pull back, get back into the smoke. 
it feels like a nice amount of fire com firepower combined with the ability to pop smoke. Torpedoes to port. Okay, he's not there. Try a bit more. One more shot. Okay, stop firing. And uh, we've got this nice cloud Smoke that we're in. Set. Very, very useful. At its smoke is gone. Let's see what we can see. Now, not firing. Spotting him. Neat. Keep him under observation. Let's go and back my buddy up now, point wise. Now we need to start uh, looking to cap. Moving round, red to cap this zone. Or do D cap B, start moving it the right way. We're capping A and we've just capped C. So time to turn this round. We've lost two ships. He spotted me. I spotted the guy behind me actually. So I'm going to go in, do the uh, destroyer roll, not shooting. Let's get some torpedoes in. And let's get into this zone. Stop them from capping. We've been detected. Okay, he's got his uh, detection ability out. So we're doing the same. The ship is on fire. Who the heck has seen us? Problem solved, sir. Boost, let's get out of here. Ah, there we go. If I can help with him. It's worth a risk. He's on low. Yeah, here we go. <coughs> cool. Neat. Let's work our way around. Let's get back to spotting the guy in the cloud. Get red to take him out. Let's get some HE loaded. <coughs> so this is the sort of way you can do it. I've got uh, that uh, Cleveland coming in. Let's get to uh, back to recapping B. Start uh, shifting things. It's in range, but I'm just going to carry on capping B. So it's a, it's a neat little ship. You've got a lot of options, and with that, the ability to stealth it. He's just out of range. Let's go for this. We've nearly got B. Let's head for C. I'm going to push in to give uh, that guy some visibility. We've got uh, bombers incoming. Uh, there we go. We've just spotted the... just the destroyer and give some AA support here. Start turning away. And still going off, trying uh, at least doing some assistance. Oh, maybe that's not so good. The ship is on fire. Okay, torps are gone. Let's go in a little badger. Problem solved, sir. Turn, turn, turn. He's there in the middle, let's try and line that up, about there. Let's see what we can do, we've been detected. Ah, there he is. Our 
secondaries are kicking in and help. Hex secondaries are good. They're kicking in and helping. Oh yeah, you're mine, sunshine. You are mine. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, crap a doodle. <laughs> he got the revenge. Nicely done. Nicely done, little buddy. Very, very nice. So it shows a lot of things that you can do. So the secondaries coming in as anti-destroyer. So this is a really nice little anti-destroyer ship. Yes, he had tons and tons of torps. But, um... Be, in spite of that it shows that you got to watch out for the torpedoes so I'm trying to demonstrate what you can do what you can't do your secondaries are good your main guns are good against destroyers this is a big anti-destroyer ship now I want to get get in and have a look and see purposely what it's like against the capital ship so de demonstrated you don't want to be seen you you're good at taking down their destroyers which we did you're vulnerable to the torpedo side critically and now and now in the next part I want to focus on what it's like against the more ca <coughs> against camp um, cruisers and more capital ships so we'll have a look at that okay 145,000 1200 experience on a loss but let's get back in so what we know is it's good against uh, other destroyers it's it's so good having that uh, that smoke screen the anti-air is not so good as you would hope that would need to be boosted but it's really not good so let's look at the exact figures 51 points but it, it feels weaker two kilometers three and a half kilometers and five kilometers but those additional secondary batteries kicking in assisting five and a half kilometer range with the boosts it's that's a nice thing for hunting down destroyers so i see that that is what this main role is is like a heavy destroyer hunting down and dealing with initially destroyers help to track down and take out their destroyers find them take them out secure the areas destroy their eyes and then go in after their capital ships so that's where i see this so let's get in and have a look at the next aspect of dealing with the the cruisers and the capital ships okay so using the smoke being the destroyer side of things yeah, the anti-air isn't so good we got the uh, our little guy here on our side the opposing number belfast checking out yeah it's looking good so we are tier six he's tier seven tier Enemy seven game that area. they're going for a i want to move in towards uh, to help out. capture c uh he's ignoring b we got the other uh, little uh farragut over there who's not capturing c but let's move in uh, not capturing b going to move in towards, towards c assist here head towards this directly towards the center and uh, try and pick up the uh, the cap of c we're capping a and c and then after after that i'm going to flip to uh to help cap b so that's the uh, the plan at the moment nice little smoke screen checking the ranges 13 so that's looking good We've got uh, the Königsberg, who's done a bit of damage, but hopefully it's not uh, too too bad. So we're in smoke. Start slowing down, get ready to, uh, to get on target. Now we're in smoke. So against cruisers, as just as I wanted to demonstrate, the, it, the, that reload is a, is a vast improvement. Show. So against cruisers, your firepower that that improved situation is very very neat. So help to lay the pain on. We got shots incoming. With we've been seen. Let's. 
torpedoes astern. Smoke generator started. Okay, fan torpedoes. Laid smoke so he can use it. Let's give some assistance. Been detected, but I won't help my buddy. Let's see how these are again. Because what I'm doing is testing against heavier ships. So cruisers, yeah, we're able to to assist with that. We've got the smoke screen being set to to aid, aid our guys and help to put the pressure on the heavier stuff. So you can take down heavier so a little, little bit of damage we would going for a fire situation i'm intending to be detected okay let's start getting out of here the smoke is going to dissipate pretty soon stop firing stop the detection see who's coming in and causing us problems and there we go so we can do a little bit of damage to the heavier ships against cruisers and destroyers it's very neat so let's go in on him you are my, t my target sunshine just missed either side of him let's go find him let's get in Let's get straight for him. So we got the uh, the situation. So so the, all these guys can focus him, and my secondaries can kick in. So the idea is make it as thin a uh, profile as possible. Get within two kilometres. I'm detected. Yeah, I'm expect. I, I expect to be detected, but I expect to find him as well. So uh, and show him for the team. Get ready on the guns. The, the plan is to be detected, but so that we can also detect him. He's hiding. He's thinking, who's who's going to be serious enough to, silly enough to uh, to chase in, and do this well? Gaming bear. <laughs> Where are you, my little friend? Oh, he knows. He knows where I am. They're leading this way, so this is the centre. This is where he's going. He's heading for the very rear of things. I've got a thin target. Where is he? There he is. Oh, lucky little badger. Oh, yes. Let's quarter the map, get him in that corner, make sure he can't get out, and I've got backup for taking him down. There's smoke, his engine is damaged. Nice amount of damage, heavy shots. This is really nice for taking down and finding and taking down enemy destroyers, and he's in a whole world of trouble now. Oh, how what? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorted. Okay, that's him dealt with. So let's get back to the original premise of hunting the heavier stuff. We know the guns are good on the cruisers. We now need to find and, well, deal with their... Those is Torp, so he put those out. I'm checking to see if there are any... Any others? Any other destroyers which have potentially snuck around behind us, and going to try and get in, help protect our, uh, our Colorado and the Congo. So, screen wise, we've done our job, hunted down their uh, destroyers. 
so we're getting back. So thank you to the Koenig, Koenigsberg, Lalaria, La, Lalariana. Thank you so much. That was really nifty. Very nice. I couldn't have done it without your assistance. Thank you, buddy. So you can see the usefulness of this. It's it's a slow destroyer, but it's a good destroyer hunter. There we go. We spotted him. Let's go in for that badger. I'm going to head the other side. It's going to be dangerous. I don't want to be around this side of everything, so I'm, t I'm turning. Uh, I, that's, that's a gauntlet I don't really want to be in. Oh, great. <laughs> no, no, I was going to... Oh, come on. Oh. So you've got the ability to find them, to run to kill their their destroyers, seek and destroy their destroyers, take down their cruisers, and once you've taken down, just t deal with their destroyers one by one. This is now able to do it. And that's, as long as your team doesn't die too quickly, you with a little bit of help, you can take down their destroyers, get in, just destroy their destroyers, and then provide the, the vision to allow your heavier capital ships to to do the damage on on their team so it's an assistant to the normal destroyer line is it good it's okay is it a lot of money uh yes it's it is a lot of money for this ship so let's have a, a look at the at the package as is so special offers i went for the 39 one to be able to show you you've got the uh, the cheaper one looking in oh that's the the admiral's edition but uh this one uh not such th it's it's it is a lot of money it is a really a lot of money and i don't really think you've got the lower one which is the captain's version 31 pounds so it's a tier six so let's have a look at the uh at the ships 31 pounds what can you get let's have a look at as we work our way down, thirty-one pounds. You can get the likes of the uh, the Prince Jurgen Tier Eight for similar or less money. Now uh, it, it's it's in between the two packages, so you can get a Tier Eight for the cost of this package and the uh, and the Tier Six. So with this, let's look back at the special offer. How much do you get to Bloomwise with this package? To re-show that. There we go. So seven and a half thousand doubloons. So let's have a look at how much the seven and a half thousand doubloons is. Seven and a half, twenty-three pounds. So you get twenty-three pounds worth of doubloons, irrespective of the flags and all the rest of it. So we take twenty-three pounds off. So we're looking sixteen pounds for this deal. You know, so sixteen pounds. Is this a sixteen pound ship? What else can you get for sixteen pounds? So the, the standard Huang Yi is £18, so this is roughly the right sort of level for this as buying it as a standalone package. So is it worth the other package, you get all the flags, it's nice if you want this as a basically a heavy destroyer for hunting other destroyers. You need to, you've, if, if you want a pure destroyer, then you get the, uh, the Lo Yang. If you like hunting destroyers and taking them down, then that, that's this, the role of this, of this ship. You're, you've got the abilities, you can hide, you can assist your team, you can spot. Is it roughly the right sort of price? So let's see what else we've got ship-wise. Let's just get to the standard ships. So, £16. You get a Molotov. The Anshang is cheaper. Working our way down, let's see. 
Arizona is a little bit more expensive tier 6 understandable 16 pounds 11 pounds you get the Murmansk at tier 5 16 pounds you get it's roughly the same price as a tier 7 with a Leningrad so it's a bit cheaper than than the Leningrad is it as good we'll have a look at the uh, at the deal basically you got the Leningrad destroyer but, but this is a slightly cheaper version of a of a destroyer hunter so all in all is it a good is it good at what it's designed to do yes it does exactly what it's designed to do if you like and want or need a, a destroyer killer and a slightly slower but still workable destroyer with a little bit more AA better secondary guns then you can't go far wrong with this with this even though it's like cruiser the Huang He it's basically it's like a heavy destroyer with smoke well you know because it's a cruiser with smoke it's it that's the niche the value for money yes it's got it is it fun now in this configuration with the smoke yes is it vulnerable to being shot it's still just as vulnerable to being shot as it always was but now with the smoke there's less chance of being shot your guns are fine on cruisers and destroyers your torpedoes the range of the torpedoes eight to eight kilometers 60 knots once you've destroyed the uh, help destroy their their eyes with the destroyers you then move on to their cruisers destroy their cruisers then move in for the kill on either their capital ships or their their aircraft carriers and in that role i i quite like the i like the style of this so uh, yeah the uh, huang he it's now it's got the smoke and the faster firing guns it's a better bet seven second reload instead of about seven and a half seconds or eight seconds of what it was previously this is much better better damage dealer and you saw the, that uh, that i can't remember which one it was but with that destroyer trying to get away you know your shells boom straight in 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 taking his engine out and he's gone you know the only thing when when destroyers see this they've got to run so this is a domination ship that other destroyers feel fear so is it good value yes so value wise i would give it it, it definitely gets a pause up at the moment it's got to get i'd say one and a half stars as a ship if it's not your play style then i'd only just give overall i'd give it a one star a one put single pour for this yes it's it's unusual and fun it's very much like the perth so let's have a look at the uh, the perth oh look D did you see the similarities so looking between these two it's uh, to me it's the same ship so um let's have a look at the perth again it's it's very similar the Perth has got a uh, slightly different gun arrangement, four guns. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Huang He. It's very similar to the Perth, but you've got three guns and you've got that little bit more. Let's check out how it compares anti air wise. So, anti air, 51. The Perth is 31. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was better. You've got, you try and you give, you get that extra anti air. That the Perth doesn't get, but you lose, and secondary guns as well. So secondary guns you've got four, four double hundreds. Let's check out the secondary guns on the Perth. Secondary guns, four, okay, similar. Four double hundred and twos. Four hundred and twos. So the secondaries are identical, but you gain more anti-air with the Huang He over the yeah, over the Perth. And you, it's one trade over another to assist you in an anti-air capacity. So if you'd like being there to help protect the... Giving you the option to protect destroyers and other units with your anti-air. It's not the greatest, but it's good enough. So that's why I'm giving it a one star. Yes, it's it's due a slot in my... Uh, in my hangar, in my bay, in the, uh, in the port. Yes. Do I recommend it? Uh, not really unless this is your sort of playstyle. is it a great ship no it's solid 
with potential. That smokescreen gives it the potential to be a destroyer hunter and destroyer killer to turn the games as long as the rest of your team gives you the backup and then allows you the time, doesn't get pressed in too much to allow you then to support them. But it's as part of a strategy to destroy their, their eyes first, this is a very good little ship. And I would recommend it for that role. But if, you, if you're with a standard, normal day-to-day -day team that aren't allowing you to do what you can do to help them, then you're going to lose and you're not going to be able to do what you can do with this. But I see it does have potential. So for now, I would say it's got to have a one star, maybe a one and a half star. And as a deal, yes. And does it have a place? And is it something I'm, I'm willing to, to push and play more games in? Yes, It's now it feels comfortable. From what I heard before, it was really bad, uncomfortable play. Now it's not. Now it's fun. Now it gives you options, and this is this is the ship that it should have been all along, and it's finally there. So, a partial recommendation if this is your playstyle, and is it a solid little ship? Yeah, definitely. Which otherwise I'd I give it no pause up at all. So yes, it's it's a pound or so cheaper than what you would expect. You, it's you're getting sort of a tier seven ship um, effectiveness as like a tier 7 destroyer going in against tier 6s or for the same sort of price as tier 6 oh what well, same sort of price as tier 7s for a tier 6 ship so you're saving one layer of cost with this and that's that's really where it where it fits so yes it's slightly good value for a unique sort of ship which is actually quite good fun to play but it has vulnerabilities but it's now got those covered with other things with the smoke screen use the smoke properly and you can do really well. Hydroacoustics 2 were to help you search their destroyers. This is a destroyer killer. And that's that's your job. Scouting and destroyer killing. And then work through. Help take out their, their other cruisers. And then move in for the capital ships afterwards. It's very useful as part of a strategy to help dominate the seas. And I it, it fulfills that role. So thank you guys. I'm the Gaming Bear. This has been the, uh, the Huang He. And I can actually recommend this ship to you as it is now. So, enjoy. Thank you guys, and see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.